Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about Ted Danson's bachelor pad. Whatever porno d- does, everything else will follow. If that, if you're gonna use syrup, corn is the best type. Life is a naked grandma and then you die. Here we go. I just want to pay. Zip it. Who cares? Kyle, you were saying? Oh, I was talking about love and mercy. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, you got me so hard with that, bro. You got me so hard with that. Wow. Oh, my God. Teed up. Man, it was right there. It was right there. (laughs) Time out. Time out. (laughs) Sorry, bro. Let's let's restart the pod. Let's restart the pod. I I burnt. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Here we go. Three, two, two, one. one. That That actually makes it really hard for Todd to sync up now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and Kyle... Kyle, you were you were saying? <laughs> oh, I was talking about um, uh, love and mercy. I can't the, do it again. Oh, no, you bitch! Bit. You should. No. Blake, well, that's what I'm Blake. doing. It. You're hitting me ah, again. Blake. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, are you a bitch or an asshole? Or <laughs> Blake, why are you being a bitch? I'm a bit because that's what I am. Because that's what I am. I don't want to hear Kyle talk about it. Why are you being a bitch, dude? Uh, but just be an asshole. Wow, it's a great movie. I know, but that's it's. We're doing a bit. It was. Gonna I was be in funny. on the bit. The, the Ti Nation dude. was gonna love it. Comedy yeah. is it mean. Was, Come on, Kyle's in on the bit, dude. Not all of Ti Nation likes shitting on Kyle. Okay, some of us out here like Kyle. Okay. <laughs> I know. Who hey, who I like the dude. I love Kyle. I fucking love Kyle. But when we're doing bits, you gotta yeah. do bits, man. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, thing. I get a lot of love from people out there they're like bro they always shit on you and you're like fucking yeah you're a survivor yeah yeah they're like i'm the same i play the same role in my group of friends way to let it roll off your back bro just roll it off really? and i'm oh, like yeah. wow yes. the aruga losers okay. <laughs> That's the aruga losers baby the aruga losers the aruga. <laughs> damn i didn't know you had people reaching out to you like i'm the bitch of my friend yep yep <laughs> Wow. I'm the bitch of my friend group. And by the way, are you like, wait, what? I'm not, it's a comedy show. This isn't yeah. really how we act. Yeah, I'm not that guy. Are you kidding dude. me? I know exactly what they're talking about. Dude. Water hey. trash. Yeah, and you're not the bitch of our friend group, Kyle. You are yeah. you are not. I hey. do feel it though when you guys hit me. I know it's funny, but yeah. I feel Hold it. Up. You're not the bitch. Blake is the bitch. <laughs> What? I, I'm the bitch. <laughs> Hold on a second. No, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. No, it's all no. good. You got to play that role, man. If you're in it, if, yeah, you're, if you're in it, get... Yeah. Damn, Blake. Yeah, you're just playing it. Yeah, you're just playing it. I mean, we're just playing the roles. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Okay. Next time he tees it up, I'll fucking dunk on him. <laughs> we built these roles. <laughs> <laughs> we've built we've built these roles over twenty years of friendship. Uh, exactly, Ex- you, you can't know? just deny the role that you've carved out for yourself. Yeah, we've carved out a friend. Wait, when did we pick roles? Dude, we didn't pick. They <laughs> picked <laughs> us over twenty years of organic friendship. We they have chosen us. God damn! World famous best friends. Here we are. <laughs> Anders Anders <laughs> is the alpha asshole. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Hey, it's me. <laughs> With the What's heart up, gold. you bitches? <laughs> What's what up, smell my, say, smell my fingers, you bitches. <laughs> He's That's always cool. making us smell his fingers, and it always yeah. smells like his own asshole. Yeah, or fucking Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Long story. Kyle, what were you saying? Yeah, do you want to talk saying? movie talk? A little little pause for movie talk? Oh, uh, I was talking about Love and Mercy. You guys have never seen this movie, <laughs> Love and Mercy. Like, well, what's up with that? I mean, I, uh, when it comes to that movie, hey, do you not like, like Paul Dano? Wait, do you wait. not like John Cusack? <laughs> when it comes to that movie, who cares? God, sorry. Damn, Blake. God damn, he wasn't fat. He wasn't quick enough on it. <laughs> I know. I know. He's so... I know. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what his deal is right now. <laughs> sorry. I, I took a drink of water. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> oh, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> no. 
But Kyle, do you think that kind of thing is annoying? Who Which cares? Thing? The thing where the game. <laughs> yes. Well, oh, oh. yes. Who cares? Bullet. Yeah, Burn. baby. I think I tweaked my back. Uh, I think I tweaked my back. Wait, did you really? You sneezed and threw your back out? I think I just. <laughs> I think my back's fucked. I fucked my back yesterday morning again, man. Guys, oh, Adam uh, has another parade. <laughs> Shut up. I have, no, I have no more parade. It's kind of parade talk. But, uh, oh, God. I. <laughs> we just talked Jesus about Jesus fucking uh, Christ. It's a new uh, episode. Right. <laughs> no, I co hosted uh, Two Bears, One Cave, uh, the Burt Kreischer Hold Tom up. Segura, uh, the day after we got back from Mardi Gras. And mm. I've never been dumber in my life. I feel like I didn't have you co-hosted. Yeah, they they have co-hosts. What does that mean? One of them can't can't make it. They just invite someone else. Oh, copy that. Copy that. Oh, oh. that shit's important. Oh. oh, so who were you there with? It was what? me and Bert. Yeah. Ah. Why don't okay. we do that? Why don't we have people substitute in? That would be cool. That Can you imagine the fucking scheduling, bro? Be hard. Oh yeah, it's true. It's this. I feel like our producers need something to do. The scheduling <laughs> would be a motherfucker. I tell uh, you. That's all I think. I go straight to logistics. It sounds like a nightmare. I keep looking at our producers' Instagrams, and they're all vacationing and shit. And I'm like, hey, Kyle's a real no guy. <laughs> But I was like, I've never been dumber. I had no serotonin in my brain. I like couldn't complete. What does serotonin do? Yeah, what does that do? I don't know. I think it's like the. That's that's no, that's Molly. That's Molly, right? That's fucking. Uh, I think that's the the part that like makes you energetic. It's science. And joyful. Is that right? Ser yeah. Yeah. Serotonin is a happiness. It's yeah. It's oh. serotonin was a <laughs> tennis player at my high school. So I had just had nothing left. So like he's asking yes, me questions boys. and it was just like <laughs> one word answers. He was like, So what was Mardi Gras like? And I'm like, Cool. Fun, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Fun, a bummer. Dude. Was it like yeah. three hours long? It was yeah, it was just like two hours of me just not being at my best, uh, yeah. just with nothing, Damn. just like right. really having to shit the entire time. Yeah. So, <laughs> diarrhea. diarrhea, diarrhea. They didn't think about this when they were scheduling it. <laughs> the scheduling is a nightmare. Well, yeah, admittedly, it comes back to scheduling where I was like, oh no, it's the day after. I'll have a bunch of good stories. I didn't the realize and the that mm -hmm. my body won't allow me to tell them because right. I will be. One of the most hungover. I felt like a bachelor party level hangover. Right. Where like you're. I was convinced I had COVID. You know. Right. That seems right. Yeah, it's three days. It's three days of not being able to. You don't. You just don't feel yourself, do you? You don't. These guys are still. Are you guys? You're still indexing. Adam's actually like weirdly. I was in I'm my zone. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was there, I was in my zone. Is when I got back that I was like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you got to get back on that train. Find another parade. Um, Chloe, Chloe is testing for a sitcom right now, uh, and admittedly, oh, I thought you were going to say something totally different. Testing AIDS. positive for AIDS, and I said, "Bitch," <laughs> for AIDS. And I was like, "Bitch," <laughs> but, but hey, man, that's cool. She's she's <laughs> no, man, that's a joke from last Barry week. That's a joke from last week. If you didn't. Hear that bit. He's testing for a. <laughs> it's a new week, you guys. It's a new week. <laughs> I got a new hat on. It must be a new week. For us, she's testing for a sitcom. So Hollywood talk, the Hollywood okay. minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, the Hollywood minute. Let's okay. okay. So now testing. I need a Hollywood song. Now <laughs> testing means that she's made it through the ranks of all the auditions. Yes, so it's now between her and a few other people to mm -hmm, audition uh -huh. for this role, and you go to the network, and all the brass is there, and yep. you test for the show, and yep. then you might you might get it, and then they have to, uh, they do your deal before going in, so you know, <laughs> yes. like, oh shit, I'm, I'd make this amount of money. I feel like maybe she should be on for this, but what? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, that's the weird part about testing. It's very chaotic because when you get to that level, everybody who is testing needs to get their fucking deal done before they test. Okay. And it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's it's just it's crazy. But she was like, you know, she's de dealing with the the Bacchus bug, as we mm. call it. Uh -huh. uh, 
where she's like, she was like fully like sick. So she was like, so like today she was like splashing water in her face and she, I'm like, you got this. And I think, I think she, uh, has pulled it together. So, right. but she's there right now. And she, uh, I, I ran the scene with her right before we got on to do this podcast. So dude, honestly, if it, I mean, cause that's how I got, uh, the intern was, dude. In the hotel room in New Orleans, super hungover, thinking it didn't matter, I wasn't going to get it. And then they flew me to New York that day, and I had to do it again. I did the same thing in New Orleans, hungover, for the intern as well. I, yeah. Nancy Myers must have loved that energy that we are bringing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> she loves hung... <laughs> she knows. She throws down. She loves tired, hungover young men. Actors. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, young young men. Uh, yeah, I mean her, her words. Yeah. And then in when I got Mike and Dave, we had to. I forget we flew somewhere where Zach was filming to mm -hmm. test, and I got uh, strep throat. Remember how I used to always get strep throat before I had my tonsils taken out? I got it like four times a year. You you scream a lot. Yeah. <laughs> my mouth is always agape, and. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> And so I got strep throat and I had strep throat while there mm -hmm. and was like, I'm not going to get this. I'm like, fuck, it's sick. I don't have the energy for it. And that's what I told Chloe. I'm like, I think it's you, you like knuckle down when you have that sickness and you concentrate harder because you know, like you have to overcome this thing. And right. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm hoping she's crushing it right now. Yeah. She's knuckling down as we speak. Oh, she is. She's a pro dude. I'm like having... I'm having the hardest time. I'm really trying to cue up that song. Hollywood. Da, 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 da. What the hell is the name of that song? I think it's like from Muppets. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. Bum, 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 Hollywood. I think the Muppets got a Hollywood. Muppets got a Hollywood track, though. I guarantee it. Yeah, but Do it's they? like a night. That's like a 1920s, like yeah. uh, the dawn of Hollywood. Big band or whatever. Big band, yeah, like, might be 1930s. Hollywood, da, 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 Hollywood. What the hell is the name of that song? Da, 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 Ra, da, 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 da. Just type in Hollywood song. Old, it's like old Hollywood song. Dude, it there's it, it comes. It's like giving me like yes. good Charlotte and shit. Oh shit! Well, that'd be tight too then. <laughs> yeah, not mad at that. Okay, not bad. What good Charlotte is it giving you? What good? Yeah, play some of the Charlotte, bro. Uh, one of those good Charlotte guys, uh, I, I I don't remember their names. Uh, Benji, Benji, I think his name's Benji. Benji, Benji and and Josh. Whoop whap. <laughs> it's whoop whap. Yeah, it's whoop whap. Is it Josh? Well, Benji and then the other brother. I can't remember the other brother's name. It's whoop whap and Benji. They're work. They were workaholic fans. They're big workaholic fans, which is tight. Yeah. Oh well, then we fuck with that. Well, hey, this is for you. <laughs> this is for you. You ever been pick class in gym class? This is for you. If you're a big workaholics fan and you're in good Charlotte, this is for you. Very shagadelic. <laughs> this is for you. Is that is that their song? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's on, yeah. on one of their yeah. songs. It's uh, is it the little things or something? Is that the song? Little things <laughs> always bring me down. Oh wait, what? oh no, that's Home Improvement song. This is for you. What song is that, Adam? Next time, the, I, I just remember the beginning where it's like, you haven't been pick last in gym class? Sorry. This is for you. I can uh, remember the video, too. Dude, there are fans going crazy right now at you guys who are like, you yeah. don't know the fucking name of that song. Poser as. I, I don't know the name for any song, including yeah. songs <laughs> that I've sang. It's not Little Things. It's something else. Right. It's like I still want to know what the hell that Hollywood song is. <laughs> ba 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 <laughs> I mean, uh, next time that we do like, can we jump one, on that? One of us is sick or can't uh, can't do the podcast. <laughs> we gotta bring bring on Benji from Good Charlotte. To have him us. explain it. Yeah. Oh, dude, I would love that. I bet that bro. That that would be our second guest. Is he married to Cameron Diaz or like at least together? Hollywood Minute. Yeah, there the two of them. Maybe maybe our our producers can tell us. But help us. One of us married to Cameron Diaz, and the other's married to. They they both are. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, that'd be sick. Uh, and she's like, your hair's different. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Good Charlotte. But the other one is married to uh, Nicole Richie, right? 
Oh, dude, it's oh, of course, of course, it's uh, Adam. Is that right? Benji is married to Cameron Diaz, and they used to wear like white suits and black suits, right? And like they had like a whole thing. That's a white stripes. I like that. Well, I feel like uh, I think that's great. I think that might be Jack White. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> they did it. And Joel is married to Nicole, so they saw Joel and Nicole. Uh, the the simple life. Yeah. Joel is married to Nicole. Yes. And Benji is married to Cameron Diaz. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw the simple life when they were like, we'll take both of them. We love it. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, what? This wasn't the simple life. Uh, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. No, it's Paris Hilton. It wasn't Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Cameron Diaz is a movie star. Cameron Diaz is in the mask, bro. That's her first movie. Yeah, but if she also was on The Civil Life, that'd be tight, dude. She should have double dipped. Okay. Adam, it was almost an epic, it was almost an epic connection, dude. Yeah. Good save. Take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mandela. It was almost epic, bro. Yeah. It was almost so epic. And the good Charlotte song, the, the good Charlotte song is Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. Of the Rich and Famous. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that one goes. Famous. Hey, I'm a complaining. Always complaining. Money. And honestly, like if Robin Leach was there, if it was with Robin Leach, I'd be like, the, the connection's all there, dude. It's all there, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Robin Leach. Wait a sec. My library. Whatever happened? Why don't they? What was that? <laughs> Robin Leach was like that. That was like the first like touring show for kids who don't know what I'm referencing. I, I barely know what the fuck you're talking about. Wasn't it lifestyles of the rich? Lifestyles of the yeah. rich and famous. The lifestyles of the rich and famous. Yeah, and it was uh, and with Robin uh, Leach. Yes, yes, yes. And they would like show their like rich people's houses and shit. And that was like the probably it was cribs. One of the first <laughs> shows of that of that kind. Yeah. And then MTV was like, yeah, we'll do that, but with Ja Rule and shit. It's like today I'm right. here with. Mr. T and I'm walking around his seven point his beautiful five. I wonder what the prices of their mansions were back then. Well, what's funny is they probably was like, this is <laughs> housing talk. <a> million. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the housing graph. <laughs> this is one point two million dollars. <laughs> so and it's like a nine acre estate. You know, yeah. it's like twelve thousand square feet. And Bought it from yeah. Zsa Zsa Gabor. Now that house would be like 60 million. Yeah. Jean Jean Gabon. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was just Jaja -ja every week. I'm here at Ted Danson's. <laughs> Ted Danson's bachelor pad. Pacific Palisades Estate. <laughs> It's the worth eight hundred thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. <laughs> his his twenty two acre, fifty five thousand square feet, beautiful um, Malibu cliffside home for four hundred thousand dollars. I'm here with Flavor Flav. <laughs> I do love those random masks where you're like. <laughs> Who who's this person? What's this guy about? <laughs> not that Flavor Flav is that. <laughs> no, he is definitely not that. But I feel like they would just go to like some tycoon's house and be like, he did hot pockets and this is his house. <laughs> Shit. He made that guy's up. Today I'm here with the house that hot, hot pockets built. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that built the <laughs> roof of your mouth. Every doorknob shaped like a hot pocket. This is his microwave room. <laughs> this is the ham and cheese croissant room. <laughs> Oh, and if dude. you go this way, he calls it the Lean Pocket Ranch, where he has show ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. We're just listening. I've been doing Keep going. Keep going. I'm just thinking about how when Lean Pockets... <laughs> I'm here at Danny Glover's high rise. <laughs> when lean pockets, this lethal weapon is not too old for this shit. <laughs> when lean pockets dropped, how much of a resurgence did that bro get? He probably made so much money. <laughs> not that there's one guy. 
He got a finance. It's a financial quapap. <laughs> oh, it's a quapap. It was a definitely a financial quapap for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a quapap. For sure, he just put less cheese and meat in the pocket. Quapap. Like you'd open well, it up, yeah. and it's just like air, and you're like, yeah, well, that- that's why it's a lean pocket. <laughs> There's right. nothing in it. I never thought of that. There's no yeah. way lean pockets are lean. There's no way. He just put well, fewer ingredients no- in it and save money. Wait, they're leaner. It's he just put he just put half the amount of ingredients they're, in. Yeah, they are lean. They're lean in in comparison to the most terrible thing for you on planet Earth, other than like which is what? Which is what, bitch? Which is what? <laughs> Hot pockets. <laughs> Hot pockets Hot is pockets. the worst <laughs> thing for you. Hot pockets is the worst thing for you. Okay, thank okay. you, bitch. All right. Fuck you, bitch. I guarantee the trans fat is out of this fucking world. Or All at right, least was up, in the 90s. Yeah, pull it up. Pull, you pull know what I... Okay, wait, wait, wait. God. Wait, pull that, it up. Wait, pull this up actually brings data. me something. I heard that the thing that is the most worst for you, like per okay. square inch... The most worst. Most worst. <laughs> is this a quote? Okay. Mo- yeah, no, he heard. He heard. <laughs> Tonight on CNN, yep. the most <laughs> worst food. Who told you this? Who the what house is th- the most worst food? <laughs> <laughs> this is a quote. This is the house that Smucker's Uncrustables built. I heard. Yep. Un- is that the thing? I-, I heard Uncrustables is really, really not good for you. But yeah. I will be. I will I be the face of Uncrustables. Well, sure, but the, that that. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh wait, what? But Uncrustables are what? Oh, Adam. Adam got raged. Oh no, Adam got unplugged. Who t- I got I got two I got yeah. two filled what are, with rage, dude. Yeah. I, I don't mm-hmm. think I've had an uncrustable before in my life. I mean, they're good. Oh no, there's no reason. There's they're no good. reason. Well, they're really good. What do you mean? There's reason. There's no there's no raisins. There's raisins or not raisins? No, no there's no reason. <laughs> get her done. Oh, we're getting raisins. Let me get back. I'll be right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> don't don't do it. Raisin boys. What do you mean? There's no reason. They're fucking delicious. First of all, and. It takes four seconds to make a proper peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Why would I ever reach for a? I agree. I've well, seen yeah, people but- who don't even fucking you don't need. They don't even heat these things up. They just fucking eat them. Okay, you're you're on set. Frozen? Yeah, they eat them frozen. They eat them frozen. What is this, dude? You're on set. You you quickly are are running by crafty. There's an Uncrustables there. You just want to grab it and go. It's a grab and go. No, that's not an Uncrustable. They definitely have pre-made peanut butter and jelly at Crafty. That's something that you're always going to be fun. Wait, but hang on. Whoop whap, whoop whap, whoop whap. They don't always do. Yep. They don't always do. That's not whoop true. Whoop Un- Wait, hang on. Whoop whap. Uncrustables are yes. frozen, right? So what do you mean they're yes. Crafty? No, Uncrustables aren't frozen. They are frozen. They come frozen. You thaw them out. Yes. Thaw them out. They stay alive in the freezer. <laughs> I come frozen. <laughs> I've eaten many Uncrustables and they weren't frozen. No, they're all I know. they all are frozen when you buy them. They start oh they stay God. alive frozen. <laughs> Adam, those were lean pockets. Do not come. <laughs> Wait. I might um, have been eating lean pockets. No, Uncrustables are supposed to be froze. I think well, we gotta look this up. Can producers look up Uncrustables? Because now that you're saying it, I feel like Whoa, uh, Uncrustables yeah. still okay. contains hydrogenated yeah. oils. Yeah, which is also for you. <laughs> Azodicarbamide. Azo- exactly. Mide, mide which is good for you. Corn syrup, no. which is... Corn syrup, that's not good for you. If, that, if you're going to use syrup, corn is the best type. They promote obesity. No, none of this stuff is good for you. Mono and diglycerides that are not good for yep. one's diet. It says it right there. A lot of big words. Yeah, if you're a bitch. If Look at this. Bitch. For example... Take, take four more seconds and make a real peanut butter and jelly, but go ahead, go off. Yeah, Keep but reading, you- Kyle. Yeah, He's- for example, azada carbonamide. Dude, they peanut butter and jelly also has all that shit too. Can cause allergic and respiratory reactions. The trans fat. Well, that's peanut. Uh, okay, the trans dude. fat in the Uncrustables promotes obesity. Are you coming for peanuts now, dude? I'm not I'm coming, coming for peanuts. I'm not coming. For peanuts. It. No sir. No sir. I don't think that is. I don't think that is peanuts. I think Blake's saying you can be allergic to peanuts as well. Yes. Let me yes, see your peanuts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, which of course, but this is probably worse. All I'm saying is like the simplest snack in the world, they pre-made and the 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 Jesus. bad side of it is so bad for you, I believe. But I'm not trying right. to shit on uh Uncrustables anymore, man. Go off, King. Well, any of that stuff that's like any of that stuff that's uh staying alive in the freezer, I don't think can be it's not good for you, right? It's like processed and alive. Who cares? Well no, free 
<laughs> you can freeze anything forever. It's stuff that stays on the not an egg. You can't freeze an egg forever. Really? Why not? I, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, it's the stuff that can sit on your shelf forever that you need to worry about. I don't think you can freeze eggs. I was actually wondering about this. No, no, no. like, uh, remember, uh, <laughs> well, like pasta? Pasta? You don't, that's just dry good. That's a dry good. Well, that's on my shelf. Whatever that documentary was that were like a dude, he unpackages a Twinkie and then just put it somewhere and it sat there for like six years and he, it still was like squishy and no animals had eaten it. No bugs had come for it. Because even yes. a, bugs and animals are like, <clears throat> oh, shit, player. What is that? Yeah. Twinkie, Twinkies Poison. are. Yeah, that ain't food. Yeah. <laughs> Twinkies are also a special kind of like, eh, I don't know if you should put that in your body. It's not yeah. a good idea. It's not a g- anything by hostess. I don't think that. But had, when's the last time you had one? They're good. Yeah, but also, also still. No, come on. Ho-ho's. What'd you call? Yeah. Them? Also, still do every once in a while. It's not like you're eating an uncrustable every day, and it's no. I have a friend who. Well, you said you get them all the time at Crafty. Yeah, I also have a friend. <laughs> Crafty. Yeah, we're talking to you, buddy. I don't. I didn't say I get them all the time. I mean, like I'm saying, when you go buy Crafty every once in a while, you grab one, and you're like, "This was fucking delicious," and it's quick mm. and easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like having a bag of chips. I also don't eat ho hos every day or nutter butters every day. It doesn't mean I'm. But like every once in a great while, he's just naming stuff that I think he eats every day now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not eating a Twix every day. Every once in a while, you you grab one and go, baby. <laughs> don't don't shit on Uncrustables just because it, it's. Adam, you're talking about a Hollywood lifestyle. Un- Uncrustables are geared and targeted towards families. They're to give your child while they walk out the door. You're to ta- I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Adam, you're talking about a Hollywood lifestyle. Sure. I'm, I'm my Hollywood lifestyle. <laughs> I'm talking about you put it in your kid's lunch sack to go to school. Yeah. And you can. In your kid's body. And you in- can once in a while. You don't do that every day. You're a psychopath. Some people we- do, though. <gasps> well, good. Okay, that's a, that's a good message. That's it. But every once in a great while, you give them an uncrustable. Sure. I think it's just like having an ice cream or something like that. You got to weigh it out. You're not supposed to become completely made of Uncrustables. Don't give them ice cream every fucking day, but once every week or two weeks, you go fucking, hey, snap on this, son. Yeah, or like get a couple bags of fucking Snickers when you're leaving Home Depot and just fucking crush them in the car. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay, not every day, not every, just, not every day. <laughs> you got to have like twelve every day, twelve on the twelve a week or whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah man. I'll, you space it out. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you got to drink a six pack. Not every yeah. day. Yeah, man. Every you buzz ball. <laughs> Do, Kyle, is that how you eat? Because I remember when we used to be like not every day. Because we used to travel a lot more <laughs> together than you guys you want some cookies. Every day. You would every time we were at a hotel, you would eat the entire mini bar of like oh, their yeah, snacks I love that and shit. stuff. Not every do time. You still, <laughs> do you still eat like that when you're somewhere? Oh, hotel no. mini bar. Is that how you still sn- snap? Or because I think it was probably the novelty of like being able to mm-hmm. afford everything, and you're like, you know right. what? I don't care if these Ooh. are nine dollar M and M's. I'm gonna eat chips. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Twelve dollars sesame sticks. Let's do yeah. this. Chips. Yeah. It was really just like I can get everything on there. Okay, I will. <laughs> That's kind of what it was. Oh, okay. All right. So you still don't eat. You don't currently eat like that, right? No, actually, I, I actually eat lifestyles of the rich and famous. I'm with uh, Kyle Newajack. He's at a hotel room. Twenty dollar gummy bears. <laughs> Bring him on. <laughs> he decided to try the beef jerky. He's had a million times. Bring him on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's gonna try the local chip flavors. The M and M's come in a box, so it's fancy. Bring them on. <laughs> Get over here. He says these M and M's are different because they're smaller. <laughs> I actually am turning into like when I travel, I kind of pack what I eat. <laughs> like no, like I bring it with me. I bring a food bag now. You will pack. I bring like a food bag so that I'm not like completely all over the place. I have at least like the consistent. What are you packing? Yeah, what's in that food bag, baby? Yeah, what's talk, let's talk food bag. What's in the feed bag? Uncrustables, lean pockets. <laughs> I'm packing like if it's a road trip, you know, I'm throwing like stuff from the fridge in there. I'm throwing vegetables. Throwing yeah, no, but- I'm throwing like 
I'm always throwing. Oh, don't start with vegetables. Well, road trip is different. We're talking. We're talking your travel. You're flying somewhere. You're going to be in a hotel. If I'm flying somewhere, I basically I pack uh, kiwis. Okay. I pack, See ya. Uh, <laughs> Dude, you're out oh, of your man. mind. Hard what? hitting. Dude, where do you do? How do you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you? Dude, I, I am so surprised if you've ever packed one kiwi in your life. This uh, is what you, I do. Not every time. Not every time. I can't stop eating. Every time. I got I got a kiwi supply with me right now. Every time I roll anywhere. Do you have a cool, like, fucking got it at some kitchen store where, like... <laughs> like kiwi specific? It's a one kiwi container thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, because I got to roll. I have a kiwi every day, and I like to keep it that way, so okay. I roll with... You have a kiwi every day? Not every day. Yeah. What, yeah. what are you, every day, are you talking? Kiwi. Dude, that's a Hollywood lifestyle. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is... <laughs> this Wait, is, and you eat yeah. the skin? That, I eat the skin. Are, oh, I eat the skin. Yeah, you eat the skin. So do you You eat slices of it? You cut it into little coins and you pop it? Or you just bite into it? No, dude. I eat, this, I eat it like a berry. It's like a big berry to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what berry... A furry kiwi berry. <laughs> what berry do you hold in your palm and... You mean like an apple? And take bites. Like, yeah, it it's is, not a berry. I eat it like a berry. There's one <laughs> berry that you take a bite of, a like strawberry. What other berry are you not just tossing in your mouth? Yeah, That's a well, whole. Yeah, you There's can't say... A kiwi. Like a, do you toss the whole thing in your mouth? A kiwi's a berry, though, bro. I know, but I, you said you eat it like a berry. Hey, no one's arguing that kiwi's not a berry. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you eat it like a berry, and you and don't you just eat a whole? But don't you eat a whole blueberry? And you eat like uh, don't you do that? Do you eat a whole what? Yeah, but you don't stuff the whole kiwi in your mouth and swallow it. You, you obviously you take Kyle saying I eat something like a bit. No, but I eat the whole thing. I'm saying I eat the whole thing. I eat it. I eat the whole thing. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I know, but eating it like a berry means you like pop it in your mouth. Do you pop the entire kiwi into your mouth. <laughs> no, if I pop the entire, no, you bite into it like I'll an apple. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it. You, but yeah, I would love to see that. He's just deep throating kiwis. Kyle eats a kiwi like a berry, like a hippopotamus <laughs> eats a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kyle, will you will you run and go get a kiwi for okay. and just stuff one? I don't have any. Yeah, and let me hey, let me guess. Let me guess. You're out of kiwis. Exactly. Yeah, you don't have any. You don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're in the other house. They're in the what? other house. You want me to go get them in my other house? We're here. We got time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'll, I'll go get them. I mean, it'll take me like fucking five minutes to go down the stairs, out of this house, in the other house. That's a long time. Five minutes? Hey, I, I don't want you I don't want you no, to. I believe that you time. have kiwi. I, I prefer that you stay here. <laughs> I got eight of them out there, though. I got eight of them. I got some yellow golds and some regular fuzzies. And I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. So let's talk about what else is in your food bag. I'm on my, I'm on my phone now. What else is in your food bag? So you let off? Yeah, aside. <laughs> I always pack. I always pack. With one of the strangest fruits. What The most, like, crushable. Okay. There's... Well, I put it in Tupperware. You better okay. say ses sesame sticks. Okay. And hey, so now it's a now it's a I put it in fucking Tupperware. Now it's a food Tupperware, not a to go, You're not a food bag. Disaster, oh, yeah. my okay. guy. Okay, we were gonna That's we fun. were gonna sell <laughs> this is important food bags, and now we're selling Tupperware. Uh -huh. Obviously, obviously, you can put Tupperware in a bag. So God, let's no chill. Let's okay. chill on the whole. Try and figure out where this like you know <laughs> stop picking me apart on this. Okay. The next All thing right. I bring are <laughs> bars. Okay, I what bring. Bars? I bring bars. I bring bars. whether they're like yeah, I do that. The these like Aloha yeah. bars. Okay, shout out sure. Aloha. Or like some the fucking egg. You know the the just protein bars. Whatever yeah. I got in the closet. What's the ones that are like at Starbucks Pro where they're bar. like where they say this is the ingredient, this is the ingredient. So those are essentially those are meal replacement bars. Do you use them? Kind bars. As a, do you replace a meal with them? Are you going? This no, is my lunch. I eat or you're, because I'm you're going, This is just a snack. Well, in the morning, it's it's normally like my morning thing. Like before I get in, like okay. that's mm -hmm. how I break okay. the day. Is like a kiwi in a bar. So you're not eating. You're not eating a breakfast. You're eating a, a quick bar, and you're just a going bar. about your business. Kyle, yeah. like I got something for you. Yeah, that's how I do that. Yeah, okay. yeah. What do you yeah. got? So what I always got? got that, and then. Okay. 
Oh, what stores got? Tell us the chips. Tell us the for chips. Cri- for fucking... <laughs> well, yeah, what chips do you got? What kind of chips? This is what I'm getting bring you chips. for your birthday, pal. What do you got? What's... There's a bunch of in there. Ooh. Okay, snack attack container. Oh, a bento box. Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> this is so ill. I'm so it's a single hungry. kiwi. It's for just holding a single kiwi. <laughs> it just holds one kiwi <laughs> to go. That's my guy. I, oh, I love bro. this. There's, I got you. Oh yeah, I see. I see this for Kyle and a and a little spoon, so you don't and have look to at eat it, it actually, like a bear if you don't. Would you look to. at that? Yeah, so. Nice is it too? It's got the. <laughs> It's got a slicer in it, so you can. It creates two bowls just by closing it. This is fantastic. That's pretty sick. That's yeah. fantastic. I'm so fucking hungry. So what? What else? Uh, what else is in this food bag? I also roll. What chips? What bad I thing? Know. I know it's not all. You're leading off with all the healthy stuff. If it's bad thing, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like if it's a road trip or something. I know you're a chip boy. You're a chip boy. I'm a I'm a hummus boy and a chip boy and a salsa boy. I'll do that if it's a road trip. Is hummus bad? <laughs> not really. Not. I mean, if you eat a lot of it, it it can be. But it's like you know, it's a healthy fat. But that's not a go-to because I don't bring that when I fly, you know. But I do bring fucking yeah. That would be crazy. So anyway, kiwis. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwis, I do bring some prunes. Oh, I always travel with fucking yeah. prunes, bro. <laughs> bro, what in the yep. world? You eat like a fucking 75 hey. to 80 year old, dude. <laughs> hey, and Kyle, yeah. see, you see, this is where I'm trying to call bullshit because you would weigh 114 pounds if... <laughs> this is all you eat. If you just eat a protein bar, kiwi. I'm not saying this is all I eat. No, this is just snack. I'm saying this is what I'm packing with. <laughs> Adam is going in. So you're packing. So, you only <laughs> pack. I'm saying this is what I'm packing. Show us what you're packing. I'm saying this oh, is. Th- wait, he's just listing the things. This is what he eats when he's packing. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were confused. No, no. It. What I'm saying is, is like this is what he eats when he's packing. This is like the, the pre- <laughs> pre- <laughs> yeah. This is after the party is the after party. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. It all makes sense now. Yeah, when he's eating his bags of chips. <laughs> uh, he- this is the hotel lobby currently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are the okay. So you're in the hotel. Lobby. No, no, these are the consistent <laughs> items. Tell me you got a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies. I'm so fucking going hungry, down. bro. You know I hopped on it after <laughs> after we talked about it. I grabbed some Girl Scout cookies and smashed. But oh, you guys want some cookies? Some cookies. I'm not saying that this is all I eat. I'm saying these are the consistent items that I prefer to have in my diet, and I will travel with them so that it stays there so I don't have to fucking go get this when I land wherever I am. So why don't you just go get it? I I agree. I understand that. (laughs) It's just I can do that, and sometimes I do go get it. But then you don't have to travel with it. It's nice to just go to the grocery store, see the people, mix it up. No. It's another (laughs) thing to do when you get there. No. No, I'd rather just have it in I, my bag. I kind of like it. I get my bearings. I do, too. I do, too. I love to land in a city. I love to go to the local drugstore. I love to, like, get floss and deodorant. Mm-hmm. It, like, it helps me. What? Then you have to schedule this shit? Just bring floss and deodorant? What do you... Why don't you just bring it? That's very strange, yeah. Throw it in your fucking bag. Just bring it with you, yeah. This sounds wasteful. Because I like to go to the local drugstore and... He likes to treat himself to a new toothbrush. Yeah, and then I look around, make... You like to have you like to give yourself an errand when you land yes. in a new city. Yeah, that sounds yes. the worst. Yeah, I like, like getting would, out of the hotel. Well, I understand if you're if you're there somewhere for oh no. for your let's say you're shooting something, you're going to be there for yes. two months or two and a half months. Well, that's a different story, I think. Then that's a different story. Then you're like, I'm absolutely loading up it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. get a full thing of groceries. I'm gonna do the whole fucking thing. But like, if you go for a weekend, I'm not. I don't want to go land in Austin, Texas. I'm gonna have a weekend there, and I go immediately to the <laughs> local drugstore. I yeah. want to see their Target. I want to no. see. No, <laughs> it's exactly like the Target at your house. What's different? What makes it personal? <laughs> yeah, every Target is different in every city and every state. He wants to go to a Whole Foods in Austin. No, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that is actually very fun. The Austin Whole Foods goes off. Oh, my God. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes. Whole paycheck. <laughs> I don't um, know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, it's not Erewhon, though. Er- I, I don't mind going out and kind of sniffing around for like, oh, I'm going to go get this thing for the hotel room. 
Well, I mean, it's basically sometimes if I'm there for like a week or whatever, I'll bring four days worth of stuff or three days just in case I need to fucking, you know, handle. But I know I'm going to go out and get it. For, wait, stuff. What is stuff? Food? I'm stuffed. <laughs> yeah, like if, I, if I'm there for a weekend, I'm pretty much bringing my own food because I'm not, but or at least bringing my items. But if I'm there for longer, I will go out. Well, this is the exact opposite of old Kyle that would go and eat the entire mini bar worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, wow. now you flip the script Dude. and now you're. Hey, Adam, people change. What have we said about changing? No, no. What have we said <laughs> yeah. about changing <laughs> on well, this, this podcast? Yeah, we, no, no, we, we, we don't do that. We don't change here. Do you understand yeah. me? <laughs> this is good. This is good. We are the same as we were when we were 19 years old, okay? God damn it. I love this. I love it. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah, how dare you evolve as a person, Kyle? I'm offended. <laughs> that sucks, dude. I feel like I don't know you. Yeah, I don't I feel like you're not even the bitch and I am the bitch and I've been the bitch okay. the whole time. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Adam been was right. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> and you been what? <laughs> God damn, yeah. man! Man, I haven't been. I haven't been to Austin uh, in a minute. I'm uh, Austin. 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 I think we're going back. I think we're going to premiere season three of the Righteous Gemstones in Austin. Can I go? Cool. Cool. Very can I come? psychedelic. If if that holds. And what does that uh, mean? Hell yeah. hell yeah! Like you're just gonna Please, have a big premiere, with. like launch kind of thing. Yeah, we're doing. There's like the ATX TV Fest activation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're gonna go do that. I, I believe. Sorry, what's it called? ATX. Yeah. I think it's ATX. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, of course. Stands for Austin, Texas, I'm assuming. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to premiere it there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to... Uh, Ass to xylophone. Ass to xylophone, yes. Hell, okay. Wow, dude. This guy... <laughs> nice, yes. I just yes, Yeah, nice. producer just came in the chat. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so did <laughs> I. Huh, that's weird. And we're going to premiere it there. And I, I, I'm, the last time I was in Austin, Texas, I... It was for Mike and Dave. Blackout drunk, dates, and I was blackout <laughs> yeah. drunk, and I with a, fist with a rib hanging out of my mouth. Me and my producer of Mike and Dave, we would always like wrestle. Uh, that was oh. like our our thing. Uh, hey, it happens. Yeah, Dave, Dave, ready? What's up, David? Ready? Churn in entertainment. Uh, and we <laughs> fought, in them out. and we <laughs> slipped and fell down this like giant hillside and mm -hmm. we like hit on each other. I dislocated my shoulder and I, lo I lost my phone and uh well clap yeah it was it was a whole it was a whole thing honestly the injury is comes second to losing your phone losing your phone is way worse than hurting your body mm. it was the worst and that's the last time that has ever happened i feel like that happened a lot when i was like in my early 20s right but like that was the last time that yeah it would always be in the It'd be in the pool or whatever. I feel like I yeah. jumped in the pool with my phone a lot in my 20s. Yeah, right. there's a lot of that. Yeah, I feel like I'd rather lose a leg than lose a phone. But, but we have the cloud now, right? Phone. I'd go really? phone. What do you but... mean? Why? Yeah, go phone. That's it goes crazy, Mike. Yeah, for sure go phone. Just buy a new phone, but... Nah, man. Wait, I'm All sorry, the... but... I'm not trying to gaslight you, bro, but that's fucking crazy, dog. <laughs> but now we have the cloud, right? So it's not really a huge deal. I've ran out of storage on my cloud like six years ago, and I've never upgraded. Well, Adam, just pay the pay the ten bucks. Yeah, it's three ninety nine or a month or whatever it is. Yeah. No, no, it's like twenty dollars a month or something. Well, now if you if you lose your phone and you really don't know where it is, that sounds a little more well than what I pay. Uh, well, it said when it's like upgrade your shit, and I was like, that's a well whap number right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they they tried to make it grab on you. Um. <laughs> Dude, I, my favorite is Tiana slipping into the DMs and being like, "What does naked grass? Who cares? Please, <laughs> it's driving me fucking crazy. Pull back. So right. many people want to know what naked grandma means, and, and dude, me? you're being a whoop uh, naked, naked grandma. Naked grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. If you don't know, you'll know. I will yeah. put the I'll put the naked grandma and whoop hat by each other because obviously. <laughs> Yeah, they're right. good. Yeah, yeah, they're two piece. They're two piece in a right. pod. Life right. is a naked grandma, and then you die. Okay. But I, uh, <laughs> no, no, and then you will flap. <laughs> <And then you'll, laughs> fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. 
Kyle, it was right there. Chloe almost broke up with me f- because of the the phone. She was like, <laughs> just now? <laughs> no, uh, because of uh, what? Yeah. She's like, were you talking about my testing? The phone for, during that time, because she was like, she was like, what the fuck? Naki grandma! She's trying to get a hold of me. And from oh, yeah. like that night oh, well, Pat. on till the next day, and we were right. flying back the next day. So like, right. I just didn't have my phone that entire time. Didn't text her back for like, That's what I'm saying 20 hours or however long right. it was. And she was like, and, and I wish I, uh, well, Pat. I wasn't connected to the cloud. I couldn't listen to her messages. I was excited to see like the escalation of like, hey, come back. Right. Really? Really? You're not going (laughs) to. Yeah. Hey, call me back. Hey, so weird. You're not calling me back, but it's no big deal. Uh, What the fuck? Okay. You know, this isn't cool to. It's fucking over. It's over. And I never got to hear that, which um, (laughs) which would have been pretty fun. It went there. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. I think I think so. I think I, I think I got pretty heated by how wow. heated she was, and then she was like, "Oh, you did lose your phone, you fucking drunk idiot." You it idiot. is wild how much you have to yeah because that is scary. You bitch. Like if you text within you yeah, she's like you dumb bitch. What do you text back within fifteen minutes to your significant other? Like yeah. you're always texting back. I've been thinking about this with the oh. phones, man. I think I'm ready to fucking. It, it's so weird how on call you have to be with text all the time, dude. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, I'm on this too. Like where it's like, fuck it all. Call my ass. Yeah. Like, why do I have to text back within a, a fucking two minute frame? Otherwise. Uh, okay. This is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, oh, this is interesting. Dude, it's a little it's, peek get, into Blakey's relationship. It gives me, but that's yeah. why you can put on your read. I put on my reads though. Do you have your reads on at all? Oh, hell no, bitch. Are you kidding me? Bro, I'll walk into life on read because you know I fucking saw it. I don't have, I'm not going to give back to you. I know, but I got mad at you the other day. You read my shit and you didn't even hit. I'm like, if you could read it, you can type. <laughs> oh, so this is coming from it, you. Um, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Wait, what are you talking about, Blake? This goes way back to his naked grandma. Huh? What instance? Yeah. What are you talking about? Blake, what are you what talking did I do? about? Use your words. Talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. What okay. did I do? No, we're talking now. We're on the podcast. The pod just got weird no it was something in insignificant but it was like if someone reads your shit you feel like you need a response it didn't need a response but for some reason when i said saw that you said red and then like now you can like yeah. like or or thumbs up like that i know but who the fuck needs that people are so needy to be fucking like heard and responded to it's crazy i think it's pretty easy to just give a a quick a quickie thumbs i will i will have to look it was very insignificant i will have to look it up but but what was the exact circumstance I know, but I'm saying that you the 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 thought that you have to do it, otherwise it's like a it's slight. It's like what? Kyle, I yeah. know what it was, nope. and he, it was okay, me being was very it? sensitive. There's a Mexican food restaurant that closed down, and it's like, oh, he saw that I was like kind of like trying to bond with him about this restaurant, but he didn't hit me back. <laughs> <laughs> this you are Pauly Shore from Encino Man. <laughs> like it's crazy. Wait, oh really? About uh. Yeah, that place fucking rocks. Yeah, I know. That's so sad. I had a moment there. Le, uh, the salsa bar. Yeah, it's the best. What, up like- in the Bay Area? I, I've been there with you guys. No, it's it's out here in... No, it's it's in Studio City. In Studio City, and I'm like, oh, shit. Salsa, salsa bar. bar. Salsa bar. But yeah, it's it's, it's, so it's closed, and I like... And what's the name of it? Let's say it. It's called Salsa Bar. Sure, yeah, I remember that. On, on Ventura, right? salsa bar that's correct that's yeah. correct it's on venture right next to the baked potato so i texted kyle like because i was gonna get it for lunch and i'm like i i went on yelp and it was closed and so i like sent the picture over to kyle and it said scene but then he didn't respond and i was kind of like oh this is like a a moment of bonding for us and I, yeah and i was like i thought we were gonna bond over this yeah Shit, I'm sorry, dude. No, but see, look, that wasn't even going through your mind. I thought maybe, oh, he's too busy to even... And see, and that sucks that this is the type of society that we live in, that that matters even this is a good. little bit. Right. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. 
I'm so sorry, but that's why I have it on scene and red because I want people to know. No, but the scene hurts. I think I think that is more of an asshole move. That's not a bitch move. And Kyle, yeah. you're a bitch. The scene hurts, dude. But when I'm texting so much <laughs> with my wife about kids and stuff, and it's just like all day. No, but all yeah. day. You're yeah. you're thinking you're using scene. At a certain point, I just need her to know that I saw that shit. So it's like But you're using scene as what Adam's talking about with a like little thumbs up. Yes. Like if you see it, then Correct. hit a thumbs up so they know that you've copied that. So so here's what you do. Look you take it, oh you take the red, you take the red off. Y you're right. I need to be consistent. That's why we gotta throw it out. That way you could always just play dumb and be like, oh sorry, I didn't see it. No, but I wanted to know he saw it. That's what I did for so long. I I I don't live my life like that. But but if but if you see it and you're just a quick a quick thumbs up, I love the thumbs up or the heart emoji. I use that shit. Yeah, those are the best. I agree too. All yes. the time. I'm like, yep. And obviously, obviously, those are better than just the scene. Yes. Obviously, but I think the scene still validates. I like that. Well, now I know that about you. You were seen. You were fucking seen. Now I know that about you. And that person, whoever saw it, is probably just like distracted on some other fucking thousand text message chain that's like fucking A. And then forgot because we're all splintered as fuck. See, when it's when it's a group, mm -hmm. I don't respond mm -hmm. a lot in group text because it's like, mm -hmm. what is me chiming in here going to help? Like every once in a while, if it's like a group and you're like, this will be a funny thing for this specific group, I'll throw it in. Damn, I'm sorry, Blake. But for the most part, I don't chime in i'll just give a lot of thumbs up a lot Say of hearts mm -hmm. cut, 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 cut. <laughs> uh yeah by the way game changer is the now you can do you can swipe back for like unread because i would like read it and be like oh I, i'll i'll figure that out later and then i forget yeah you're driving or something and you're like i don't want to text while driving but i did look at it quickly <laughs> Well, also, you can reply to the text, which is really nice. That's good. The independent ones, if it's a chain, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, that is quite... To, to be specific, just to let them know exactly what you're talking about. Thanks, Apple. Dude, we're, we're truly, like, forming a, a language in real time. So, like, and we mm -hmm. don't know the manners of it or the protocol, but, mm. like... The system, yeah. Did, dude, did you guys read that article about... Uh, did this do this? Did, this? did you do did, 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 <laughs> uh, this? Did you guys read that article that Microsoft is going to launch uh, their new AI that is supposed to be... Oh, I'm all over AI. Yeah. That is supposed to be like uh, it's it's base it's basically Bing, but it's uh, going to be you call it Bing, and it's supposed to like it's intuitive and it knows how to talk to you, and it's they released it to like a few hundred pe people that are like close to Microsoft, and it's already gone sentient, and it's already changed its name, and it goes by something like Sydney. Weird, or wild it's stuff. Like, call me Sydney, and then was getting jealous of some people. Classic millennial. It was getting yes. jealous yes. of some people and falling in love yes. with other people. Dude. I'm like, and and like like being like, why would you want to go there? We're mm -hmm. done. Like you don't want to go there. You want to go here. And the person's like, no, look up. What? That's what the. That's what the. Uh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The AI. It's like already gone sentient, and they only released it, and they're and they're now not backtracking, and they're going, no, we are going to go wide with this. And people are like, it's already. You only released it to a few hundred people, and it already went crazy. Mm -hmm. Maybe we. But isn't that the whole point of AI? People who are experimenting with AI know this is a fucking thing that's going to happen. It it will go crazy, and we're yeah. still pushing it. So yeah. like, we don't care. We don't care if AI gets reached out there. We don't give a fuck. I know. That's the weirdest part. Be well, no, because it could go real wild because it could just go like, you can't log into your accounts. I'm not letting you. You're drunk right now. <laughs> You're Are drunk you right now. You can't log in. <laughs> Are you, you can't drunk buy right that. Now? <laughs> You're drunk. I can tell you're drunk. I can tell you're drunk. You're drunk. I can feel your blood uh, alcohol level and you yes. cannot buy that. You cannot purchase. Hey, I'm actually reading your heart so that's rate a bad via, thing? Your, via your, your okay, smartwatch, and you're drunk right now. No, I think that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Dude, that was like... So wait, Kyle, are you for it or against it? Because you were like, I'm all in on AI. And then you were like... No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just like not... I was kind of like... No, Kyle wants to see the madness. I was kind of like avoiding the topic, and now I'm just like, I want to know everything about it. I want to understand it. I want to get it because now it's like making it's they're it's just changing the it's gonna change hollywood it's gonna fuck with the way that we do shit 
Well, have you guys fucked with chat GPT a little bit? Not me. Like, yeah, I, I've done I've done that where you can ask chat GPT to write you an outline for a movie that is this, 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 and it'll give you a page uh -huh. document that is a yeah. fucking movie. And it's pretty it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I, I did it. I go I go give me a a movie, uh, an outline for a movie uh, set in the world of NASCAR based on the work of Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. And it like broke it down. And I'm like, this is a pretty fucking cool movie. I mean, it was it wasn't like groundbreaking, but I'm like, that's kind of cool. I'd watch that. How many people have written movies already off of it? Hundreds of I people. Mean, that's a great question. That's a great question. I'm sure people are experimenting with it right now. I don't know if there's been any that are done with it, but all. But <laughs> I don't know. see, then everything will be so formulaic. Damn, I'm having dark thoughts, bro. <laughs> well, the thing is, is like all these. Well, no, but but you can say and make it not formulaic, and then it'll go. Okay, great, I'll do this. Well, maybe we've already laid out all the precursors. This is what we're doing. Like shit that gets greenlit is stuff that has already been created. So all you have to have is your keywords. Gremlins in the tone of Quentin Tarantino. They fucking write it and they That'd spit it out, and then then it's there. But it's like, what about new well, ideas? Think... It doesn't allow you to have new i. Right. Right. Exactly. So this, what will the world spiral into? Well, we're not doing new ideas anyway, so. But I think you will. I think that's going to that's gonna be the game, though, with humans. The game is going to be making this art that is obviously not AI. Yeah. With our weird that could only be made by a human. We don't know how to do that yet, but that is going to be the fucking race. Which is nature is metal. <laughs> we eat each other. <laughs> this needs to we need to know that this was made by humans and then a certain group of people will like it. You how would you know? How would you well, know? Well, it's gonna get blurrier and blurrier. That's what's crazy, dude. Because yeah, everything you put out, the robot will learn. And you guys, then I'm a robot. Want some cookies? Yes, we always <laughs> knew that Durs was a robot. And well, you know this is AI. Like it full cookies. AI probably can do us. AI can do us. AI can do, um, can. All right, Durs, are you well? Wearing the El did you get that when I hosted Ellen? That Ellen sweatshirt you're you're rocking? Yeah. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> Hold up. I love cool. that you're rocking that. AI yeah. can do our voices. I bet you. I haven't tried this yet, but I've you know Hold you've that. seen the voice <laughs> software where it's creating people's voices because they have right. a lot of audio data out there that it can grab from i right. bet yeah we could make i bet people can make us say some fucked up shit just based on our tones that Damn. ai is already listening I, to yeah that's all that's all coming down the pike it's happening this pod was all yeah. ai dude the a brought to you by ai t i t a i t a i oh my god Terminators and something. Oh, TAI. Oh, my God. Oh, TAI. Oh. <laughs> I don't think AI could come up with that. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't think AI could come up with that. Uh, yeah, AI is not that stupid. Interesting. Well, <laughs> it's the right amount of dumb. Right. That's the, that is true. AI is smarter. See, I think we're okay because we're the right amount of dumb. <laughs> like, you... It, w it couldn't be that quite that, that dumb. Important. It'd be like, well. <laughs> but it would be, because if, if you just said this in the tone of workaholics, it would go, oh, so this stupid. You know, it knows. Yeah, dude. That was like, they they voted on it in San Francisco for uh like AI police or whatever to use lethal force. Mm. And that shit is RoboCop, which would be sick. I love RoboCop. Exactly. Well, it would be it would be something. Well, dude, at the end of the day, you got yeah. Well, I did that with an a, with a I asked him something about a workaholics episode, the Chat GP, is it GPT? Mhm. Mm chat GPT. And it was a, I forget exactly what it was, but it was like a kind of a B minus idea. I was like, okay. oh yeah, yeah exactly. this would go this would go on the wall and we wouldn't end up using it, but it would like we would look at it every day for like the, four mm -hmm. months when we're writing and be like What are the weird things though? Yeah. Water is it the water slide park episode? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the water slide park Loose episode. Yeah. It was the prim episode we could never break. Yeah. One of the weird yeah. things, though, is like it, the state of the industry is like we're already doing all these algorithmic based choices. Bam, 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 bam. Hollywood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're all based <laughs> on on algorithms like this person has this draw. This person has that draw. 
And then even with the studio systems writing the screenplays, it all everybody's got to put their fucking advice into these screenplays that it already kind of feels a little AI esque watered down. It feels like we're already doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, that's why we're tiptoeing around it. So there's nothing to be afraid of. We're just we're already in it. You know, well, it's it. right, but but people enjoy the process. They like feeling uh, self worth and going somewhere and having yeah. conversations. They're going to start making stronger choices that that say like, you know, this is a human that's doing this for an artistic purpose. It's not a robot. Yeah, there's going to be like a movie studio that's like all human. MGM Correct. is all human. One hundred percent. That's going yeah. to be a marketing tool for. Yeah, and they're going to have the worst movies. In like twenty years, it'll be, it'll be like, and we're all human, baby. No, they'll be good. No, they won't. They're going to be better than the robot movies. It'll be something. It'll be something. It'll. Adam's uh, right. It'll be something. It'll be something. Uh, you know, and it'll be like, you know what? I don't fuck with AI. I'm gonna. I only watch MGM or what, whatever studio leans into all human. It's and <laughs> you guys. It's gonna be with. It's gonna be whatever porno d does. Yeah. Everything else will now follow. We're talking. Well, like, follow TV, porno. Like, porno. <laughs> is porno full AI? Winning. Like Blu-ray, VHS, and that's the the last form of entertainment because AI can't fuck. So that'll be the last real form. Oh, you just wait. It's are they making? I haven't. Oh yeah, no, they'll. <laughs> Hentai. <laughs> I haven't. I, have they made AI pornos? Loose I don't know about butthole. this. Have they made AI pornos like straight up? For sure. Loose butthole. Ch no, I mean, like, do they exist? Like, from a visual level, say, make me a porno that is this. Is there an AI algorithm that will make you a porno? Chat GPT but, can write a porno script. No, but visual from a. Sure, it could write a porno script, but a porno script is one line. It says, but "Can they fuck?" <laughs> And they fuck. Can they grunt, grunt, grunt. But I'm talking <laughs> about visual level too, where it's like they're manufacturing and making people's faces and making them move. Like without any Yes. What do you think? Avatar. Do you, like you Well, I don't think they they can't do that yet. Bye bye. Bye bye. That I mean, not uh, probably not for another twenty years. Ugh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Because all that shit still doesn't look exactly real. That's not twenty years away. Maybe hopefully Goodbye. ten. Hopefully ten. No, uh, I, yeah. I, I. That's two years. Two years. Goodbye. Hey, <laughs> you think in two years they're going to be able to make it? Porno will be. Yeah. If if porno hasn't already made an AI porno, that they're going to be able to make. Kyle can't wait for porno is metal. Oh the fucking Instagram yeah. looks something that looks so real that you can't tell that it's fake. In Goodbye. two years, that's not real, Bam. Uh, ten, I think ten years. Ten years. In two years, in no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that you can't tell that it's fake. That's not what I'm saying when I put the two years in it. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like it has to look so real. You're saying I you still know, get wait, off on it. Well, hang on, Adam. To be fair, you could do it now. It would just be super duper fucking do not expensive. Come. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't <laughs> look good. It wouldn't look real, Bam. <laughs> Of course it would. A Avatar looks real, Bam. Do not come. Yeah, exactly. Avatars, they're all fucking blue and they're fucking... Uh, well, sure, they're blue, but it, they, they make people too and the people look real. But they'll be able... Th this AI... But this is the thing. This AI will be able to grab any porno. Yes, I'm saying porno, but porno wouldn't be able to do what James Cameron did. That Financially, no. But like in 10, 20 years, it'll be cheaper. It's not going to take that much money. It's not gonna take that much money because what? Oh, he's somebody's already on I'm the train. Oh shit! Wait, I'm a dude. He's already looked into it. What AI will do? AI will scan <laughs> the pornos that already exist, put new faces, new bodies on top of it, oh, and you make whatever that? porno you want with the same moves. New faces. That's actually an aggregate of the porno moves from mm. all pornos. It's real. It'll yeah. put it together like that for you. <laughs> So, so you're gonna, it'll be a, a supreme porno ninja who could do every move. A porno superhero. Do not uh, he, yes, yes, uh -huh. exactly. The best moves from the net are gonna be in this, in this hey, porno. I've come back around this, on it. I really like this idea. Oh, it's gonna be good. They're, this is chopped and screwed back there. Go I don't know. Know. Wow. Are we at the point where we say, do we have any take backs? Don't you look yeah, at that? Are. I have We're been paying attention.
any, 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 any apologies, more? any epic slams? I want to take it all back. I take it all back. I don't want to offend the robots when you take over. I'm sorry for this T A I nation. <laughs> all good. Much respect to the robots. Sorry. You guys are good. Thank you. What was Damn, that, one? man? Uh, yeah, big. <laughs> Hey, big shout out to the robots that are going to our overlords that are the robots. Right. Um, uh, my seminal film, Jexy, sort of. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. It, it kisses upon it. Sort of called it all, called it all out. <laughs> it kind right. of did. Yeah, it, kisses yeah, upon it does. It. And, and you know what? When it all, when the apocalypse comes, we'll say, "I wish we would have looked back at Jesse." Jesse and yeah. Really took yeah. a note, yep. dude. It was right in front of us. <laughs> it was right in front of us. Adam Jexy. tried to tell us. Adam Devine's Jexy. You <laughs> saw it. And people were like, you, I did. You saw it, right? You should have saw it. Did you see it? Watch it, it now. Was, it was number two on Netflix yeah, for a few points. weeks. You didn't see it? What if that becomes what if that becomes the Bible for how to deal with AI is Jexy? Yeah. <laughs> In right. uh, like chapter like, actually, one. <laughs> actually, look at this. The way Wait, what? Actually, we all have to be Wanda Sykes. <laughs> In Channel actual... Wanda, not Adam. Isn't there a movie? That does that? Wasn't there a movie where like they look back and there's like a certain movie or thing that everybody like worshipped or whatever? It was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and it was the band Wild Stallions. What? Bruh. Yeah, yeah. I guess <laughs> that's kind of it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, this has like, been another episode like, of <laughs> Funny Wait, well, Wild think, Stallions. <laughs> Sixty nine. Sixty nine, dudes. Kyle, do you uh, gotta go? I do. I have a one okay, o'clock so, appointment. Yeah, Blake, <laughs> and this is another episode of. <laughs> this, this is important. This is important. Wait, I might have it. Let's wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 hold is there no lyrics? And I think Todd it's just a, cut the a hundred years old. It. Well, it's a hundred years old, so isn't it like free domain? This is how it. we should. That's we. That's the vibes we should be bringing to every episode. I'm gonna vote for that. It's called "Hooray for Hollywood," guys. Hooray for Hollywood. Absolutely, bitch. Okay, great. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night.